In another development, the House of Representatives urged the federal government to suspend implementation of Samoa agreement over alleged lesbianism, gay, bisexual and trans transgender clubs. The House resolution was circled to a motion of urgent public importance brought on the floor by the Deputy Minority Whip and 87 others at preliminary. The Legislative Chamber directed its Committee on National Planning to investigate the agreement within four weeks and report back for further legislative action. The Samoa Agreement is a legal framework for the European Union's relations with 79 countries, which includes 48 African, 16 Caribbean and 15 Pacific countries. Last week, the National Daily, in its lead story, alleged that the agreement contained a clause to legalize same-sex relationships in Nigeria, an allegation the federal government debunked. Further worried that the signing of such an agreement with aforementioned clauses, if true, violate our sovereignty and is a clear contravention of Section 12.1 of 99 Constitution as amended. Where the federal government is going into an agreement, by the provisions of Section 12 of the Constitution, the Parliament ought to be carried along. And if the Parliament had been carried along, these arguments, even from our people that we speak for, would not have been there, because Nigerians would have been better informed. The problem is that of lack of information. And as a parliament, all we are saying is that we want to be satisfied that what the executive has told Nigerians is actually the true position of the facts. In fact, three ministers have come out, including information, budget and planning, in public to say there was nothing like that in the agreement. Go and Google your media. You will see the agreement, you will see it there. That it was never mentioned, it was never discussed. There is nothing like lesbian rights or gay rights. It is about human rights, environmental protection, and trade agreements. Period.